Well, this is an odd one, at least for me. I am both surprised and not surprised that the waterlogged content update is coming this very Thursday, everybody. With an official post that let us in on that information, we've got some fun stuff to talk about one last time. Be it the absolutely awesome looking teaser for the inevitable trailer that's also dropping on Thursday, to a set of new Twitch drops that also kind of piqued my interest once once again, in actual skins for the game. This here is just gonna act as an announcement video because I've kinda discovered recently that people kinda like them, but also need them. So let's get to it. And first things first, this teaser image for the obvious upcoming trailer for the update. I love it, it looks absolutely beautiful. Also, Wilson, Wes, Walter, and Wobby, that is a bloody combination. And I'm excited for this trailer for some reason, and I really can't explain why. This update has nothing to do with lore-wise. It is arguably just filler content for the ocean. That said, it is still good filler, so don't take that the wrong way. But something about the potential bewilderment that these survivors are going to be feeling when they sail in this for the first time is kind of getting to me, because I'll admit, I did kind of feel the same way. I liked when I was under the canopy. Well, let's get to the actual official post. Yes, on August 12th, we will bring the Don't Starve Together waterlogged update to the live version of the game this Thursday, folks. With this update, we bring a whole new ocean biome with lots of cool stuff, and they ain't kidding. A new 64-bit version of the game, something we've actually never talked about. And of course, the boat changes. Probably the best part of this update. But here are these very brief waterlogged changes. Great tree trunks, knobbly trees, figs, grass gators, Sea Striders. Now, that's short and sweet, but trust me, there's more to them than meets the eye. Or perhaps hits your ear, but you know what I mean. And holy moly, Beardo already had you covered, folks. A week's worth of content came from this, you know, relatively small update, if we're honest. Now, I kind of thought I was done with this, with this video right here, with my final thoughts on the actual beta. The thing is, though, I'm kind of surprised by the fact that it's coming out Thursday while simultaneously not being surprised because that's usually how betas roll. But the thing that's kind of like, whoa, what's going on here, Clay, is that we haven't actually heard any new hotfix changes to the beta before this Thursday. And that's kind of why I'm here talking about this update once again. But I'm also here to just give you guys an announcement of what's coming because I've discovered the past previous updates, people like that sort of thing. So, here I am. But they've added a 64-bit version of the game, folks. They did the boat changes, the speed, the coming to a stop, the mass being better, the rowing being better, the maneuverability being better. You know the whole thing. We covered it already. But this last bit, the new Twitch drops, might also catch your eye. We will be bringing the fishy ham bat skin to the Nautical Collection. And yes, it will start on Thursday. For a list of participating streamers, see the list below. That's where that reveal hitting content thing is. But we are on that list, mind you. Now, whether or not I actually get a stream in once in a blue moon is another thing entirely. But everybody, there you go. That is the announcement that the update is coming this week. And uh, I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm honestly mostly excited, though, for the stuff that we haven't talked about. Like that 64-bit version of the game. I'm going to be pretty brief here with both this and the end of the video here because it's just a freaking announcement video. <laughs> I don't want to keep you here all day. But with 64-bit, 32-bit, what's the deal? We can get into the technical side of things, but for the most part, for the most part, a 64-bit uh, language, 64-bit version of the game is kind of just allowing us to get better optimization, performance, and maybe even bigger drops of content, especially maybe for some modders out there, simply because a 64-bit version of a game allows for your system, your actual system, to use more RAM to help it out. That's kind of dumbed down, but that's essentially what it is. Older systems, not so much. Uh, you can still run Don't Starve Together and other Don't Starve games quite well on all that because you don't really need it. But the 64-bit version... Is probably going to be better utilized in the long run, not necessarily immediately. Because I think Clay needs to ask themselves first, what are we actually going to be doing with that potential? 
I don't know. For right now, you will probably experience it more if you have a world that has a lot of stuff on screen. Uh, if you have big farms, you know, big farms are resources. And maybe it slows down a little bit in the 32-bit. But in the 64-bit, if you got the system actually utilize more RAM, you know, beyond like 8 gigs of it, you should be okay. You should be okay. But in the, in the short term, this is just trigger words. If you want to think about it like that, it's just trigger words. It's a big deal. It's a big deal. Just not right now. But what's also a big deal, at least for me and maybe some others out there, is the fact that this update is coming in a few days, and we haven't actually heard any new hotfix changes to the many concerns, very legitimate concerns, I might add, to the content itself. Now, they have a week to amend that, pretty much. They have a week to amend that. So, I'm giving them the benefit of the doubt there. But in case you didn't watch the video where I gave my final thoughts, and maybe you haven't seen or heard anything elsewhere about what concerns there might be. Let's just briefly list them. The biggest thing that needs, that honestly does need, I hate to use that word because it's not our game, it's Clay's, but this needs to happen before full release or during it. They need to fix the above average trees. If you've watched their videos, you know there's a lot of work. It's a long process to get to them for just for some shade, for some wetness protection, for some smoldering protection, and lightning protection. Now that sounds great, but again, the work to get to that reward might not be worth the actual reward. That tree, the player planted trees, need to grow other stuff. I don't care how long it takes to do. Definitely don't make it as fast as the actual great trees. Otherwise, that biome pretty much becomes obsolete the moment you enter it once, if you know what I mean. Make them longer. Make them longer. But make them spawn grass gators. Why am I doing it this way? <laughs> make them spawn grass gators. Make them spawn sea striders. You know, give us a con for them and uh, make them spawn vines. Make him spawn the fig vines. But with that, folks, I will leave you because this probably went on already longer than I was hoping. <laughs> I'm sorry for this if it's not uh, the usual video that we get on this channel, of course. But whatever, um, whatever changes come with the update, be it before it releases, be it when it drops, we'll figure it out, of course. We'll figure it out. I'll be there. I'll be there to cover it. And, uh, of course, we'll get the trailer reaction, maybe, and uh, the Twitch drop video, the skins video. Oh, I just... I just thought about something. Are they going to do some character skins with this update too? But folks, like I said, we're going to have to do it. Otherwise, I'm going to be sitting here yammering all day long. But thank you so much for watching today. Thank you so much for watching and sailing through the Waterlogged content update that we had. What was that? Two weeks ago? Three weeks ago? No, it definitely wasn't three weeks ago. Two weeks ago. I don't know what time is anymore. So I'm going to be calling it quits right here, right now. Get your Twitch drops, maybe get your skins. Enjoy the update when it releases this Thursday, and I'll see you then. Bye-bye.